It's 2012 ACC Operation Basketball here with Seth McFarland. No, wait. I love the family guy. No, it's not. It's, it's Virginia Head Basketball Coach Tony Bennett. He was one or two people around here have noticed you might look a little bit by Seth McFarland. All right, anyway. <laughs> Everybody's Virginia a comedian, huh? How about it? Virginia Cavaliers this season. You're coming off a 20-win season, NCAA tournament. What are the goals this year? Well, certainly we'd like to build on that. Um, that was an important step for us last year. Um, being in my third year, you know, I was brought in to try to establish um, some consistent success. And, you know, it's, you're trying to get traction. You really you fight to get respectability, and especially in a league like the ACC. So that was an important step, and we want to build on that. We have a different team. We lost some key guys I'm sure you'll ask me about. But um, the ability to, to show that, look, we can do this. Now we got to take it to the next level. You talk about building a program, this is year four. When you came in, were you saying this is a three-year project, four-year project, five-year project? What were you thinking about? Well, it takes time. I don't like to put it, um, any years exactly how long it takes, but I was fortunate as a player uh, and then as an assistant coach at Wisconsin and then as an associate coach at Washington State to be part of the rebuilding process. And usually it takes a, a class or two to mature and establish the things you want before you see some of the, the results. And, you know, to have a, have a year in our third year make that tournament, I thought maybe it'd take another year or two uh, was exciting. And I think it, um, it just validates with your players what you're trying to do that, hey, if we play the right way, if we keep building this thing, uh, we can compete. And, and we were close, uh, very close in a lot of ways and battled through injuries at the end of the year. But um, it's such a great conference that uh, you're challenged, but if you can make it through it and be competitive, boy, you can make a run in a tournament. A big reason you were competitive last year, Mike Scott, he's gone. How do you replace a guy like that? Well, I think you probably interviewed Joe Harris um, here, and I think he's, he's going to be a key for us, uh, his ability to step up. We only have three upperclassmen this year, senior point guard and John Tell Evans, and then two juniors, so we'll be young but talented, which is I'm very excited about for, for years to come. But we'll need those three upperclassmen to really step up and um, you know those younger guys in some ways to play beyond their years. We took a European tour this summer and I think that'll help us at least getting out of the gates. But you need to be healthy, you need to be fortunate in a lot of ways. But, um, but the blueprint is established, there's a foundation there and uh, that's what we want to build on. I know your blueprint always is defense. Once again last year you guys were one of the top teams in the country on defense. Talk about how you get that into your players, every one of them knowing they've got to be on the same page defensively. Yeah, I think it's a great equalizer. Um, it's not always the, the most exciting to, to work that hard in practice. And certainly sometimes we even get criticized with our style because we, we work so hard to defend. We know that that gives us a chance to be in games. And as you, you just study all levels of professional college sports, any sports, there aren't many teams that advance that don't have a real solid defense. Now you got to be balanced, but but we really demand it of our guys. It's not natural, so we say we're going to try to push you out of your comfort zone. And then, you know, on the offensive end, we say we'll give you a little more freedom. But the ability to be a great defensive team can do wonders for you. All right. So what are the goals now for this year? I know you guys had that success last year. Are you telling your team anything specifically about what you want to accomplish this year? I mean, I think that those guys that have tasted it, we only have, you know, a few returners have to build on that. And, and when you have a younger team, I think sometimes you can make a mistake if you say, we want X amount of wins, we want to finish here. I think you, the focus really has to be, we always say, qualitative more than quantitative. Because if, if you can really be solid, I think the results do take care of themselves. And I know it's a result-driven society and you have to win and produce. But with younger guys, I think it's important that you're, you're talking a lot about quality and little gains. And then, um, again, you'll see the success from that. Tony Bennett, head coach at the University of Virginia, coming into year four after a big season last year making the NCAA tournament. I'm Jeff Fischel. You're watching the ACC Digital Network. You can follow us on Twitter at the ACCDN.